So back to basics here. We have our piezo pickup here. And, um, and basically the power is off and it's just going to the oscilloscope probe, which is the yellow wire here. And, um, and let's see what it looks like when I tap on it. All right, let's go from there and build up a circuit. The first thing to do is to put a one mega ohm resistor uh, to ground here and that keeps the input voltage from flowing so that's good keeps it at ground the thing to do is to get rid of the negative voltage spike so if i tap on it you get that negative voltage after i let go of it if i press it hard and then let go you get just a negative spike and sometimes it can be pretty negative. So let's get rid of that negative spike by putting a diode here. So let's get this diode in this spot. Now let's take the oscilloscope probe and measure it. So now if we zoom out, but you notice that there's a big voltage drop across that diode. So um, to get rid of that, we're gonna use an op amp and use some power this time. So now we have the input signal uh, coming in here uh, from the piezo disc and um, the one meg resistor to ground. And then we have a TLO 74 op amp, which is four op amps. And the diode is going from the um, output to the non to the inverting input, and that's where we're reading uh, the value from the yellow oscilloscope wire. And we now have about ten volts peak to peak signal. The op amp is powered uh, positive 12 volts with the blue wire and negative 12 volts. So anyway, now we have our stabilized piezo signal with no um, with no negative voltage. So let's move on. Now that we have our piezo uh, trigger built with our little op amp and uh, resistor and diode um, now it's time to make a white noise generator and so to start the process we're going to use this basic 2n2222 npn bipolar junction transistor and it's a 2n so um, the collector is this pin the base is the middle and this pin is the uh, emitter. And so normally the flow of current is from collector to emitter and controlled by a voltage to the base. But to make a white noise generator, we are going to um, operate this transistor backwards. So we are going to apply a 12 volt voltage to the emitter and uh, ground the base and leave the collector unconnected. So let's see what happens with that. Now we have um, our 100K resistor um, going from 12 volts to the emitter of the NPN transistor. The base is connected to ground and the collector is just left out and unconnected hanging in the breeze and the oscilloscope probe is reading the emitter voltage. And so as you can see, um, it is hovering around nine volts uh, and change. Um, and it looks like a flat line, but it's not really a flat line. So if I was going to AC couple this, bring it towards ground by uh, doing this, 
center it around the ground, and then zoom in on it, you could see it's creating this noise, basically a, a very quiet, noisy signal. If I zoom way in on it, um, with divisions of 50 millivolts, it gives you about a um, 100 millivolt and so or and change peak to peak um, basic noise circuit. Um, and so we have to do two things to this. We have to bring it uh, to ground with a capacitor and a resistor, and then we have to amplify it. And so we can have our white noise generator. And now I took the output of uh, that uh, emitter and put it through this one microfarad capacitor and then a resistor that goes to ground. So to center the signal around ground. And so this is the same signal that's coming out with 50 millivolt divisions. And um, it has a... Uh, peak to peak of about 247 millivolts. And it's centered around ground, as if you notice, it's DC coupled now, not AC coupled. And so that's our noise signal. If we wanted to listen to our signal, it's so weak, it's barely uh, reaching the speaker. And that's what it sounds like. So we need to amplify this. And now we have uh, the output of that uh, capacitor and uh, 100K resistor going through this green wire into the non-inverting input of another op amp on this TLO74. And then I have a um, feedback loop with a 100K resistor going from the output to the inverting input and then a 1K resistor to ground. So giving it basically 101 uh, times amplification. Um, the output of that is going through this yellow wire into our um, speaker. And then this is the oscilloscope read. So we have 50 millivolt divisions. And as you can see, um, you have a much bigger signal here. Um, than we had before. So uh, let us see what it sounds like here. And you remember what it sounded like previously. <laughs> nice and loud. Um, and so now we have enough of a white noise signal um, to use for the next part of this. Now I've taken the output signal from the white noise generator through this one microfarad capacitor. Um, and that's the uh, output that centers the signal around ground. And now, this is going to be the noisy part of the video, um, where I'm going to turn on the volume and test what kind of filtering I could do with this. So, here is what it sounds like at the moment. Now, if I take a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor to ground from this point, you hear it filters out some of the high pitches. Um, and to take this a step further, I'm gonna take a one microfarad capacitor and I'm gonna put it to ground from here. And you can hear how much attenuation you get. The signal becomes almost quiet, but it's all lower pitched uh, frequencies of the white noise. And that is more appropriate for a snare drum. If I left that unfiltered, it would be appropriate for a hi-hat. So let's see what we could do with this. And now, where we left off, um, we had the output going uh, from the white noise generator going through this 1.1 microfarad capacitor with another 0.1 microfarad capacitor to take out some of the higher pitch, uh, higher frequency noise to ground. And then the output of that is going into this um, NPN transistor. This is a 
another uh, 2N2222, and this is connected as a swing type voltage controlled amplifier. And the collector or uh, the emitter is going to ground. The base is biased with this one meg resistor going to positive 12 volts. Um, and the output of our white noise generator is going to the base of it as well. Now, a diode facing the is going towards the collector with the negative side towards the collector. And through a 47 um, K resistor, you apply a control voltage, zero to five volts. And right now, to test this, I have a uh, potentiometer wired as a voltage divider that goes between zero and five volts. And you can see what the output looks like as I turn the potentiometer um, between five and uh, zero. So five is currently the highest right here. It's a very loud signal. And as I turn counterclockwise, the signal attenuates. And in this way, when you apply a voltage here, greater than zero, it allows the transistor to conduct this signal. And this is the white noise that's coming through. Um, so this is where we're gonna apply our envelope. And first, let, we have the piezo trigger um, built. Now we have to make an envelope out of that and apply it to that um, spot. So let's do that. Back to our piezo trigger. Um, we have uh, where we left this part off. The signal comes out of this op amp and basically it gives you a short, quick burst when you push on the, uh, when you trigger the piezo trigger. So let's try that. That's what it looks like. And so we need to turn something like this into an envelope. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a one microfarad capacitor and we're gonna put it to ground from this point. Um, and let's see what that looks like. And that is a little too much because it's just a capacitor. And if not for the leaking in the capacitor, basically, uh, that would stay charged. So we don't want that. We want it to decay a little bit. So now we're gonna take a 100K uh, resistor here and we're gonna put it in that same spot. Uh, so let's do, I think if it will go in, there it goes. So now we have that short burst trigger signal that comes from the op amp will charge the capacitor and then discharge through this larger resistor. And so that creates an envelope. So let's see what that looks like when we push it, when we put a trigger the piezo. That's a lot nicer with a nice smooth decay. All right. So next step, we'll use that envelope generator and plug this point into our voltage control. Now that we have all the major components built in, uh, we're gonna take the output from this, this VCA and put it through a large-ish capacitor, a 47 microfarad capacitor. The output of our envelope generator from the piezo uh, trigger is going to go into where that 47K resistor goes. And now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this output from the capacitor and plug it into our speaker. All right. And now let's hear the sound. That sounds like a mighty fine snare drum. Um, if we want to make it a little bit more bassy, 
we can apply filters to it and do whatever. This is what the signal looks like on the oscilloscope. And that's our snare drum. Now for a more gritty sounding snare drum, I changed out this capacitor uh, right here for a 0.47. This was a 0.1 microfarad, the one that takes the white noise and makes it go to ground. And so it sends some of the higher frequencies um, to ground, but it attenuates the signal tremendously. So it makes it quiet, which begs for an amplifier afterward. But um, for the sound of it, let's hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to leave it at this because this is the one I want. The one that sounds good uh, to me um, with that marching band style drum and the rattles with the 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor going to ground and a 10 microfarad capacitor here and a 20k resistor there for the decay and this is the sound. And you can make it sound like you're rolling on the snare drum. Sounds good to me. Thanks for watching.